Hey everybody, this is Phil from Hope Frontier and I'm so excited you're with me today as we talk about our top five verses for strength. Before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and share this with your friends so they can get some inspiration for strength in their life. Our first verse today is Romans 10, 11. As the scriptures tell us, anyone who trusts in him will never be disgraced. We are followers of Jesus and that means that he has the future already planned out for us. He has the victory because he overcame it on the cross. And when we align our hearts to him, he will see that his mission is accomplished. So he's going to help us so we don't face disgrace, but we can accomplish whatever he has in our heart for us. Number two, Romans 16 verse 20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. As Christians, we are called to keep moving forward in life, never standing still. Because when we stand still, we can't actually destroy and step on the plans that the devil has against us. So as we continue to move forward, take strength because as you act, God is actually allowing you to defeat the problems that you're facing in your life. Don't give up, but keep moving forward even when your legs are tired. Jeremiah 1, 5 is number 3. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and anointed you as my prophet to the nations. Now, you might not be a prophet to the nations, that's okay. But God still knew you before you were formed. And that means that he puts what is needed inside of you for you to accomplish your mission and your goal in life. So take heart because God put everything that you need to be successful within you. And if you don't have it, guess what? God will give you those skills so that you can accomplish that purpose he put within you. So you have to realize that he has called you for something amazing and he did put those skills in you for you to discover as you do life with him. Next one. 1 Timothy 4.12 Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in the way you love, your faith, and your purity. Now, it doesn't matter what stage of life you are in because there's always someone who seems to be farther ahead of us with more experience. But God can still use you today and still wants you to do something impactful. So even though you don't think you have the experience or have enough influence, you have to realize that yes, you do with God. He is the one who can set you higher and He is the one who can use you in no matter what situation you are in. Now, the last one, 1 John 5, 4 through 5. For every child of God defeats this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. And who can win this battle against the world? Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Despite how many troubles you're facing in your life, and despite how strong the opponent may feel that you're facing, you have to realize that the battle is already won. Jesus defeated Satan on the cross. By his resurrection, he actually established his new kingdom, and you are living in that kingdom now if you have Jesus in your heart. So, our faith is what makes us strong with our relationship with God, and our strength comes from our faith that believing that God is going to be with us no matter what happens. So let me tell you, don't think the enemy is stronger than you are, and don't think the enemy has ever won, because he already lost, and it's just taking him time to recognize that you are really in control. So. Keep moving forward and keep having that strength in what you're doing because God has put you in a place for a specific reason and He is excited that you are there right now. So move forward with strength and excitement.